Hello everyone, welcome to Engineered. In this today's video, we will be doing second numerical related to capacity of balancing reservoir. Now, uh, let's see the question. The water demand of a town is 260 meter cube per day. That's a similar question, right? And the demand is 260 meter cube per day. The water demand is to be made from the river flowing under gravity to the reservoir. So, here is a uh, river and here is a reservoir right and uh, the water supplied to the consumers from the reservoir by intermittent system so here is let's say the distribution system to the consumers right and here is the transmission line pipe now if you see here <coughs> if you see here uh, the system here is here is the demand part right demand side and here is the supply side supply to the reservoir side now the water is supplied to the consumers from the reservoir this is the reservoir by intermittent system the system is here intermittent right here is the intermittent system uh, supplying water from 5 to 7 hours in the morning 5 to 7 hours and 16 to 18 hours so total time here is 2 hours right and here is here is 2 hours so total time will be our uh, 4 hours right 4 hours so we need to meet this demand in 4 hours right so per hour it will be so uh, in uh, flow to reserves flow to consumers flow to consumers will be uh, this demand will be met in 4 hours so 2160 divided by 4 right it will be uh, that meter cube per hour so it will be uh, 2160 divided by 4 it will be let's uh, c2160 divided by 4 it will be 540 right 540 540 meter cube per hour right so per day there will be only four hours uh, supply to the consumers so we need to divide by four it it had been if it had been uh, 24 hours it will be it would be uh, divided by 24 hours but there is only four hours now in this system supply uh this is also this is not given so we are assuming this part as continuous system right the supply part to the reservoir is not given so we are uniformly dividing this 2160 for 24 hour so the system is for 24 hour 2160 divided by 24 meter cube per hour so it will be 2160 divided by 24 it will be 90 meter cube per hour similar to previous question right so here this part is 540 meter cube per hour and this part is 90 meter cube per hour right now let's see the table so here is the time period 5 to 7 and here are the time period here is the 4 uh, 4 hour only and here uh, the supply to the reservoir is considered 24 hour and from the reservoir to the uh, consumers it will it is only 4 hours right now for the demand part we need to multiply this 540 by the time right 540 into time right and supply our it will be 90 into time let's do this 540 into time it will be uh, 540 into time 540 into 2 right it will be from the for the demand this is for the demand and this is for the supply right so 540 into 2 it will be 540 into 2 it will be 1080 right 1080 there is uh, no demand here and again here is 1080 and here is no demand right and if we add 1080 plus 1080 it will should come as total demand right 2160 now for the particular supply time this is for the this is ts and this is td right so here is t uh, supply is for t s and there is td so if you see here in the ts it will be 90 into 2 it will be 180 right and here 9 81 8 uh, 1 0 right and here again 180 and here in 99 990 right 11 into 9 999 into 0 uh, into 10 is 999 if we add here supply part it, it should also come as uh, 2160 right uh, 180 plus 810 plus 180 plus 990 should come as 2160 right now for the surplus if uh, if supply is greater than demand we write in this column as surplus and if 
demand is greater than uh, supply we write in this column right now let's see here in the first row of the calculation so 1080 so demand is greater right so if we subtract 1080 and 180 we need to, we we find 900 right and there is nothing in this uh, cell now another part here is only supply so it will only be surplus right there is no demand so here is also here is also no demand so we only we only write 990 as surplus and no demand so no deficit now <clears throat> in this particular uh, cell if you see 1080 and 180 it will be 900 as deficit because demand is greater and nothing in surplus right now how to find the capacity of the reservoir we need to see the consecutive uh, time frames values in the deficit side right and uh, we need to go uh, without missing any values in the range so if you see here 900 if i go here here and here right so if i only take 900 there is also another maximum value in the deficit because if i subtract this and add this there will be more than 900 it will be more than 900 right so i can't uh, singly take uh, this uh, this 900 value only because there is another value that is more than 900 that is there is only another value in the deficit that gives us more deficit than this 900 right so if i subtract this 810 it will be uh, it will be what 90 right and again if i add this 900 because this is in the deficit right it will be 990 right so the maximum value i can get the maximum deficit i can get is if i take these three right these three right so our answer will be the capacity equals to capacity equals to 900 minus 810 plus 900 it will be 990 meter cube so this can also be done uh, using the other other method let's see here so in the demand part let's write the values from the previous table let's copy this particular table here let's add up these values cumulative demand this will be 1080 and this will also be 1080 because there is not no value here and if we add 1080 and 1080 it will be 2160 and there is also 2160 right now if we uh, add uh, the supply part 180 in the first part and if we add 180 and 810 it will be 990 right and again if we add 990 plus 990 plus 180 then it will be 1170 right and again if we add 990 with 1170 it will be 2160 now we need to find the cumulative surplus or cumulative deficit if cumulative demand is greater then it will be cumulative deficit otherwise it will be cumulative surplus now if you see here 1080 it is greater so 1080 minus 180 is 900 so we write here 900 here nothing right and again 1080 minus 990 it will be 90 here and here nothing right and again 2160 minus 1170 the demand is itself greater here so 990 here again 2160 minus 2160 it will be nothing here right now our formula is capacity equals to max cumulative surplus plus cumulative max cumulative deficit right minus total supply plus total demand so maximum cumulative surplus is zero right there is no uh, cumulative surplus maximum cumulative uh, deficit is 990 this is maximum value right so 990 and minus this ts and tdr both same right so we may not also write this in this kind of uh, kinds of um, numerical where a total demand is equal to total supply so 0 plus 990 is 990 meter cube is our answer so from the both the processes we, we get the same answer right 990 and 900 
नाइन ओके दैट्स ऑल फॉर नाउ थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग